Hi, do you want to build a great library for your house? Well, this is the video for you. I have my top 10 books that I think should be in every home, and at the end, I'll tell you the special price that I have for you. The first one is one of our Touchy Feely, that's not my books. These are great for little ones. They're great for kids who are learning to read. Oh, that page is really shiny. Every page has something shiny or fluffy or bumpy, something to touch to get into. It has a little mouse who's looking for their, for whatever that they've lost. There's over 30 of these, so you get to pick one of them. There's dragon and princess and pirate and um, panda, all kinds. So you're going to choose one touchy-feely. These are great to have around when you have friends who have little ones come over. So they're great for even when your kids are a little bit older. The next is this huge book. Is the complete book of Farmyard Tales. And this is why I like it. It has the CD that reads the story. So you can listen to it at home. You can put it on in the playroom. And it has all of these stories in it. We used to sell all of these separately. And then we put them all together in this one big book. So it's a really, really great value. So let me see if I can show you this. What's unique about this book is that it's called a dual reader. So the top line is an easier reading level than the bottom. But if you have, let's say, a kindergarten or first grader, they're going to be able to read this top one all by themselves and get a basic story out of it. If you're reading with the little ones or when your kids are older, they read the top and then the bottom throughout the whole book and they get a more complete story. This is a great one. Okay, then I have a couple of picture books. This is one is so sweet. The Children Who Love Books. It's all about um, being grateful for what you have. And let me open up to the page I want to show you. It says, Angus and Lucy didn't have very much. They didn't have a television. They didn't have a car. They didn't even have a house. Seeing they live in this trailer. But Angus and Lucy had books, hundreds of them. So it goes through and talks about how rich our lives can be with books. It's a great way to build a love of books and a love of reading. It's very sweet. Next is Cordelia, and Cordelia is a must-have. It is all about having belief in yourself and not letting what other people think about you sway um, your own self-worth. This is Cordelia, and she can fly. The deeper her courage and confidence grew, the higher she went, the higher she flew. From the top of her head to the tips of her toes, the more she believed, the more that she rose. So it goes through about her adventures of learning her own self-worth. Next, I think every home needs to have a book about computers work. It's just the day and age that we live in. We have a couple of different... Um, computer books and you can choose which level you want. This is the look inside book. We also have a see inside which is a little bit for an older crowd. They're, they're flat books so they're going to ask basic questions and then give basic que answers in this one. This is the screen. It shows you what the computer is doing. Many people use computers every day. I'm using the internet to help with homework. The internet isn't a place, it's a way for computers around the world to share information. So it just goes through all the different parts of a computer, what each part does, how it all works. Here's another page. So it's a great introduction to getting kids to understand computers and grown-ups too, I'll admit it. Okay, the next one is a see inside. And specifically, I really love see inside how things work. It's great for Oopsie, I'm holding them upside down. It's great for getting kids um, who ask a lot of questions. How does the elevator work? How does the toilet work? What about that fire engine? How about instruments? So again, it's lift the flaps. So you get kids involved and that helps them to get with their retention. Um, and it's just really cool. This series does have a lot of titles, so you can choose see, see Inside the Body, See Inside the Universe, See Inside Palaces, lots of options. All right, a couple more. 
You Choose is a game changer for our family. It is very, very simple. It asks me a question on each page. And then it has lots of choices. Where would you go? Who is going to be in your family? See all the tiny pictures of all the things that they can choose? We take this in the car all the time. We've had it for a year and a half, and my kids still want to take it in the car. And they talk about all the places they're going, the people that they're meeting, the things that they're choosing. It's really, really fun. Okay, the next is a year in my life. Now, I think everybody should have one of these for each of their kids because you go through it together if they're little or older. They can do it on their own. And it has a prompt for every day of the year. It's going to say, okay, what do you really love? Write about it. It's just a short little entry. Write a few sentences about anything you like. Then the next day is, pretend you are a pirate. Draw yourself on the ship. And so it's drawing and writing and all different kinds of fun, creative ideas. So it's going to be a fabulous keepsake. Draw your family tree. What would today win an award for? So it's a great way to document a life, a year. Okay, the next one, this one's for you adults. This is Life in Colors. Now this book has changed my life. It's kind of like a personality profiling, but it's all about understanding yourself and your family better. Um, so it's amazing. I saw the author of the book present on it and I think it needs to be in every home. It has changed the way I see people and I see myself and it is amazing. You need this book, Life in Colors. The last one is an encyclopedia. Kids don't have enough encyclopedias because they, we tend to think, oh, we can just look it up. But do we? No. But if kids have an encyclopedia, they do look it up. And our encyclopedias are amazing. This is the encyclopedia of the world. You can also choose from the science encyclopedia and the geography encyclopedia. Now, let me show you some of the inside pages. It's beautiful, the pictures. and. The artwork is amazing, lots of information, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like full page text. So kids can really get into it and enjoy it. So it goes from dinosaurs through the Middle Ages all the way through um, today. And then in the, oops, in the end there's a timeline that I really enjoy also. So those are the 10 books. They retail for $143. And in the comments, we'll talk about what the special price is for the party today. Bye.